Hello everyone, Vicki Bell here, and I decided that I would come on. I've been a like a little elf around here. You know, I'm I'm kind of off to a late start. You know that like I shared with you, I'd lost one of my closest friends, and that kind of set me back. Um, you know, being sad, but I'm I decided that I was gonna you know work really hard and decorate my house and I love Christmas and so get my mojo back and I slight slowly feel like I'm coming I have decorated the house but I had intentions of like making all these videos and like you know having a bunch of different decor ideas that I would work with you with so I'm late on that game so I just decided that I was gonna make as many as I could and then just share them with you so I wanted to kind of share with you like I have boxes filled that I've been buying since the summer for uh, things that I can make like from Dollar Tree and Walmart and you know all those Hobby Lobby oh my goodness so let me just show you if you could see right there it's all like different um, things that I've been collecting like I said for the whole like summer <laughs> and uh, as soon as they started putting Christmas out I was like yes getting it here I go and I don't know if you could see but I have um, like I told you I love going thrifting and I've been like just totally kept getting anything that had any Christmas back like from last year so I do have a lot of Christmas clothes so that's been super fun but like yeah I have so much more to make I you know I'm I'm feel like excited so let me go ahead and share with you what I've made so far so I just took a regular candy cane so like just a candy cane like this and I don't remember who I saw it on what um, youtuber showed but I kind of like you'll see once I show my home decor you know I usually change the theme up every year but since I'm on a major budget and I didn't really want to buy like big new things, you know, Dollar Tree stuff, that was not a big deal. But like, usually I change every, every decor item, everything, you know, for the theme that I was going with. So this year I just wanted to stay with the traditional colors of red and green and gold and um, kind of has like a little bit of like a rustic feel to it you know like a primitive I really do love that country look and so I made I made these I covered these so they were just like this and then I covered them in fabric and like I said I bought these along this fabric way a long time ago at Hobby Lobby and I have it actually where do I have it it's right here somewhere let me see yeah this this fabric I bought just a yard of it and that is really pretty you know that I used to, as a little girl I think all of my Christmas dresses were in this taffeta right it's not taffeta that's cotton but it just reminds me of that and then I just added these little these little what are those called like little red berries and I just put them with some regular old twine that I had in my collection and then I just hot glued some little berries in there and I thought that turned out super cute and I made a dozen of them and I'm going to put them on my Christmas tree so let me try to hold them all up here so that is all of them and they are they're all the same and if I have time maybe I'll even make more because I have uh well, I'm going to have three. I have one more tree to put up if I if I get the gusto. I'm probably going to put it upstairs on the landing so you could kind of see it from downstairs when you look up. But yeah, so I thought those were super cute and fun. I had a lot of fun making that, just watching TV last night, and I was like, I'm going to do this. Okay, then I had just got these um, Dollar Tree doors. They were, I thought they were super cute just as is. But I decided to kind of spruce them up so when they're hanging on the tree, they still have kind of like that look, you know, a little bit more to them. So all I added was a strip of that same fabric that I got. I'm telling you, I bought a yard. I, I covered all of those candy canes. I made, what, six of these tree doors. 
and I still have like more than half a yard left. So one yard is really cool. And then I just added some of this um, jute. What is that jute? What is this called? Not jute, but you know, you could see. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And uh, then I just tied some of the Dollar Tree raffia and then added those same berries in there. And yeah, so I made some of these doors for one of my trees. And I thought those came out really pretty too. Super cute. Okay. And then, um, so this is taking me all day today, kind of. I've been working on them. Well, th j this afternoon, I like I told you, I don't know if I have told you, but my daughter got a new baby uh, English Bulldog. Her name is Betsy. Our last name is Johnston. So it's Betsy Johnston. <laughs> We're dorks. Uh, it's one of our favorite designers, so I thought that was super fun. But I'm telling you guys, oh my gosh, it's like having a newborn. I mean, she is so much work. I, My daughters go to work early at Starbucks. Like They start, at, they open the store at four in the morning. And so she can't be left alone. So she's crying like a baby. So I have to go and get her. To, so that's kind of not only, you know, whatever else I'm going through, but like, I think having the, the new dog, this is our second month having her. She's adorable. Like, I love her dearly, but I forgot how much, well, I've actually never had a puppy in my life. I usually, um, we usually, what do you call it? Rescue older, like I've had two other English Bulldogs, but we've rescued them and uh, Bjorn, we got him when he was like, I think he was about three years old. And then Trooper, I think he was about four. So they were already like a little bit more mature. She literally was only five weeks old or something, something like that, five weeks old. Or is she five weeks old now? Yeah, I think she, not, I'm sorry, five months old. <laughs> five months old. So she's, she's a handful, but she's just adorable. And I'll probably be showing her as, you know, the years go by and you'll get to meet Betsy Johnston. She's so cute. Okay. So honestly, like I haven't really had to buy a lot because I've had so much in my stash from before, like as referring to ribbon. So this is just ribbon that I've had in my stash from last year or the year before. And so I just decided like, I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of new ribbon, just to use what I have. And I went to the Dollar Tree and I did see this from another YouTuber. It might have been Olivia's Romantic. And so she said that, so there are these rolls here. Okay, they're from Dollar Tree. And what I'm gonna show you, I used one green, one red, and one white. And then one of the metal, um, like candy cane uh, metal holders or whatever. And then I used these pipe cleaners that I have had in my stash from Hobby Lobby. And then I got this ribbon from, I have a little bit left so I could show you. This ribbon, this is all that I have left on one of them um, from Dollar Tree. And I thought it was so cute with the little, the little truck. I know I still love these trucks. I know they're kind of, but I think they're still so cute. And so I just paired it with the same jute ribbon that I had before. And I made these fun, yeah, they were super duper fun candy canes. And so can you see that? It's pretty big um, here. So if you could see, this is how it's like, that's the back of it. <laughs> And that's the candy cane. So, so cute. I got these picks from, where did I get these from? I think the 99 cent store. And they have like, there's a snowman, there's a Santa. And so then I made a giant bow on the side there. Just one of those big fancy bows. And then I added the snowman in the center 
and I thought that was super cute. So I made, so I have a hutch in my living room that has um, doors to it and I always hang things on there and I've actually glued, like used my glue gun on a few of the doors. So there's like residual glue that I've totally jacked up the doors from. I'm like, ah, you know, in the moment I'm like, oh, I'll do, I'll, I'll fix it after. Yeah. 10 years later and I still haven't, <laughs> so I have to continue to cover it. So I thought this would be a perfect remedy <laughs> until I like actually sand it down and it needs to be repainted. But I love my hutch, you know, I love my dishes and that houses some of my dish, like some of my favorite dishes. So these will be on that hutch door. And I made that one <laughs> and I made another one. So there's two candy canes. That should be my thumbnail. I wish I was cool enough to know how to make a thumbnail. <laughs> like that'd be, ah! No, but it's so cute. And so I used a Santa pick on that one and I just cut off the little um, wooden and then I used a snowman there. So I thought that was so cute. So when I show you the home decor um, video, I will show you, show you where I put those. Yeah, so that's the stick. I just kind of just bent it back and forth until it came off so you can't even see that. And then here are my super easy and like one, two, three, four, five, less than like probably I would say $8 for each one just because I used a lot of stuff that I had in my stash. So that was so fun, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And let me know down below if you wanna see more things like this because I do plan on making a whole lot more decor before Christmas. I know it's like, you know, what, it's a, two weeks away, but I'm still gonna make them because I could have them for next year too, so it's all good. <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you for watching. Remember that Vickyville loves you and to always keep it crafty. It just makes everything better when we keep it crafty. <laughs> okay, bye.